Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for what message do you need to hear right now? So I haven't been posting as much as you guys can tell and it's because I've been very, very busy with personal readings. So very, very busy as always, but I am going to be posting a lot more the next couple days, so definitely stay tuned. And if you have any suggestions, for my readings, definitely leave topics below or any questions that you have. Even if you can't purchase a personal reading from me, I want to be able to help you guys in any way that I can. And I do appreciate my amazing sponsors who've been purchasing personal readings from me, which has been allowing me to be able to post more on this channel and help it grow. So if you are interested, have, head over to promiseharmony.com services to purchase your personal reading. And um, let's get started on this reading. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Obviously, a lot has been going down in the energy. There was that full blood moon in Aquarius on the same day as the lunar eclipse. And here in a couple days, I believe it's on the 7th or the 8th, we do have the Lion's Gate um, when the planet Sirius aligns with the Great Pyramid. And then we also have, I believe it's on the same day or around the same time, a solar eclipse. Also, we have six planets that are retrograde, most notably Mercury, of course, and Mars. So what does all of this mean? Um, that's pretty much what this pick a card reading is going to be answering for you. So it's what message you need to hear right now in relation to all of these things, all of this energy. For some of us, we've been feeling like this boost. Like I personally like felt kind of depressed the week of the eclipse, but this week like I'm feeling so energetic and so boosted and like just in the flow. And um, I have all these ideas that are coming to me. And it seems like that's been the case for a lot of people who I've been Skyping with this week. They've been saying, yeah, there's like this rush of energy um, on the other side of that lunar eclipse. And so I feel like things are changing for the better. I feel like all of this is leading us more into a, an alignment and onto a higher frequency. So of course, this is gonna be a reading focused more on the positive aspects of what is coming into your life, what is manifesting through this energy. So go ahead and pick an object. Number one, we have the quartz crystal. And if you're wondering what's on my hand, it's a henna but it's like fading, so I have to get it redone. I'm so sad. But number one is the quartz crystal. Number two is the Indian coin. Number three is the beach glass. Number three is the beach glass. So if you choose number one, Let's go ahead and get your message. What message do you need to hear right now? If you choose number one. Let's get started. You guys know I love my Wildwood Tarot. So that is what we were starting with today. Okay, so first of all, I'm seeing that you've been really focused on your money and really focused on your finances lately. You've like really been moving up in the world. Things are getting so much better. I'm also seeing that there has been some depression. There has been a little bit of fear surrounding you and like you've come a long way from really being sucked down into that negativity. You're getting a lot stronger. So you've been really learning how to manifest your energy into forward action you've been creating momentum you're in a really good routine right now in your life um, i see you've moved on from some trauma um, and you're getting your money situation your finances figured out so they're saying it's hard for you right now because you're being called to a new path you're being called to start over in some area of your life and this is like your destiny your fate being called to a new path but what I see is that you're very f focused on your security. You're very focused on your home right now. You're very responsible. You're really in this flow. And so there's 
here's you like trying to stay in this situation, trying to keep this situation, trying to fight for it. Even though it's slowly starting to fall apart, it's slowly starting to unravel. This could be um, the place that you work. Maybe it's just too much of a grind. Maybe your body physically is starting to break down and you're like, this isn't sustainable. Um, maybe there's no way for you to move up in this job. Um, maybe the job isn't as flexible as you need it to be or perhaps it's not consistent or something or it's only like temp work or something or it's seasonal. I'm getting messages about that coming up. Um, it could also be your home situation. Um, it could be like something isn't working with your home. You need to move to a bigger place or a better place or a new location. Or it could be someone in your home needing to break up a relationship that is toxic or has really just out, you've outgrown. Um, and so there's changes that need to happen in your home and re revolving around your security and your finances. And so it's like you stalling because you don't want to, you've really worked hard for this security and this stability and you don't really want to rattle this cage right now. But there's this message that your heart is calling you in another direction and there's some more opportunities for you in a different career or in another line of work, something that is more suited to your mind and your soul versus working your body so hard or physically so demanding. Um, and they're telling you, to, you know, to not resist the flow, that this Mercury retrograde, that this, all of this, there's going to be changes in this area because of the eclipses, because of the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse. Um, and so it's going to feel like things that are falling apart around you. So I do want to read you this card. This one is the Blasted Oak. And it says this. This is, this is what I feel like is going to be happening or is happening to you right now during this Mercury retrograde period and this time around the eclipses. It says, What appears to be a random disillusion or destruction of your beliefs and relationships is natural and timely. The sea swallows what was built on shifting sand and you are liberated from being a powerless victim. Now you have a base on which your inner strength can adapt and evolve. This may happen suddenly with shocking speed. The trauma may leave you stunned and confused, but the fiery blast that sent you falling to earth has also jolted you from a state of trance that allowed you to avoid dealing with profound and fundamental issues. Don't be angry or bitter at this passing, for whatever has gone never really belonged to you. Be patient, wait, and learn from the process of loss. So what this card is saying in a nutshell is that there's going to be things kind of falling apart and unraveling around you right now. Um, and this might seem random, but they're saying this is timely and natural. So certain beliefs, certain relationships, certain ways of life. I have a feeling like maybe it's for some of you guys is your job um, are going to things are going to start unraveling. And so they're saying, this is actually going to liberate you though. You know, something could fall apart, but it's going to free you up to accept something new. Maybe something you've been trying to manifest. Maybe you've been dreaming of more freedom or just like a different type of lifestyle. And this is going to help you create the space for it. Um, and so it's like you making this decision, moving forward, ded rededicating yourself to your path and to evolving and you're going to have to ultimately put your head together and think of something new um, to move forward and be really creative. So let's go ahead and get a final message for you revolving what you need to hear to help you through this time. I think this is about listening to yourself and asking yourself, what do you truly want? What do you truly desire? Because sometimes when we get lost in life or we feel like we're stuck at a plateau, it's because it's time for us to like set a new intention or visualize what we want to move forward. And so in order to do that, we have to listen to ourselves and ask ourselves, what do we truly want? Not what do other people expect from us, not what's going to look good, not what's going to make society happy or make our parents happy or make our partner happy or make our friends happy. Um, but what's going to make us happy? 
you know? And so this is about taking it back to yourself and asking yourself, what is going to make me happy here? What is really going to fulfill me? What is the right path? Where is my heart calling me to go? You know, you follow your heart and then you use your logic to be able to make good and clear decisions and take action. So they're saying just simplify it. Take, take it simple, one thing a day. You might be wanting to make some really big changes the next couple of weeks, um, but make sure you just spend some good time visualizing and setting a clear intention and take it step by step. So I hope that this reading resonates with you and we're gonna head on to number two. But if you're interested, head over to promiseharmony.com slash services to receive your own personal reading. So if you choose number two, I'm really excited to get your message. We're in such a big time of change right now. It really is exciting. So I'm just shuffling the cards back into the deck, taking some deep breaths. And we're gonna pull your cards for those of you guys who chose number two, the Indian coin. What is your message for right now? What message do you need to hear? It's so great to see this card. It's really great to see this card in the middle of the deck, in the middle of all these cards, because this is the sun. This is the most positive, uplifting, happy card in the entire deck. This is the card everybody wants to get when you have a question about something. It's the yes card. It's the all is well card. It's the good things are happening, spiritual awakening, new beginnings, rebirth, feeling in the flow of life, feeling free, feeling safe, feeling confident, feeling in love. This is the sun. And so um, we see the sun here in the middle of the spread, but then there's the morning card next to it. And then on the other side of it, there's this challenge card. So it's making me think that there's a lot of chaos surrounding you right now. It's like deep down, this is a message that you're just like trying to keep your chill or maybe you haven't really become aware of what really is going down. Um, it could also be a message that you're just like, you're, you're on a good vibe, like you're not resisting it, you're just going with the flow. Like you know it's leading you to good places, but there's just like shit going down right now because there's like struggle and challenge and mourning and... Um, a little bit like having a hard time moving forward with some projects or something. Um, and then I also see in your home situation that there's like something that needs to change here. Um, there's going to be a rebirth. There's going to be a beautiful change in your home. This could mean the birth of a child. Um, it could be talking about an addition to your home, like moving in with somebody or perhaps getting married um, or moving somewhere. Um, it could have to do with a relationship. Um, so this is talking about some kind of challenge with this home um, situation. Something new is going to be happening here, something beautiful. Um, but for right now, it's a challenge. Um, and there's a lot of grief surrounding you right now. Um, and because of the grief, it's been really difficult to start new projects or to continue to commit to your path. Um, the grief for some of you guys, but not all of you, keep in mind this is a general reading, the grief could have to do with being single or trying to manifest a partner or like a soulmate, twin flame kind of situation. It's like you've been learning a lot here. Like you've become your own guide and your own mentor for yourself. There's a lot of change that's come through this path like good changes. So it's like been good for you to be on your own, but a lot of you guys are trying to manifest love in your life. Um, and I do see that there's this message here, like the whole middle of the spread is really talking about things being really great for you and you're safe and you're protected and there's unseen forces working in your life right now. So I kind of feel like this is telling you in your life, not everything is really what it ultimately is going to be right now. Like you're in a huge shift, a huge state of transition. Like things are going to be changing. A couple months from now, you're going to look back and be like, whoa, you're going to be in a different place. 
you're going to be maybe even different people surrounding you or a change of a job or location or something like that. Um, maybe with a new in a new relationship, you know, maybe you attract love into your life. And so they're saying big, big changes. All is not really what it appears to be. At the same time, though, they do want you to kind of accept what's happening around you right now because you are the master creator of your life. Some of these things you've attracted into your life, through your thoughts, through your feelings, through your intentions, through your actions. Some of the rest of it, the rest of the crazy stuff that's happening is just contrast, you know, that the universe is sending your way. Um, and it could, some of it could be kind of leading you to an easier path or to just kind of like a little shortcut to something you've been trying to manifest. So just, they're just saying, don't be so quick to judge a lot of this energy because it's kind of coming in and peeling things away that don't serve you and um, kind of opening up your energy to receive. So yeah, a lot of struggle. Some of you guys are going through spiritual awakening, going through that dark night of the soul process. Um, but overall, I see, I really do see like the sun, the center of the spread. They're just telling you not to worry. Everything that's happening right now around you is meant to be. Trust your soul and your spirit if you're being called to like take some action right now. Some of you guys are also just being called to be really patient and to just welcome whatever's happening and, and to just flow through it. So it is a big time of change for you. Let's go ahead and get some final messages. Anything else you need to know right now to help you through this time from the angel deck. So there's going to be a lot of synchronicity, like you being at the right place at the right time kind of stuff. Or if you're into it, maybe you're going to be getting like messages from the universe, like angel numbers, 222-444-111-1111. Or maybe you're like grocery shopping and like you're thinking about something and like this song comes on the radio that's just like exactly how you feel, you know, like little moments where you feel like really in, in alignment with life. Like, you know how you show up somewhere and then you just, you witness something happen and it's just like, wow, I can't believe I just saw that. Like, I was swimming tonight in this beautiful pool that's here where I'm staying in India and all of a sudden I looked up and this huge bat flew over me. It was like this huge bat and it was just so cool. It wasn't so close that like I got creeped out, but it was so close I could just, I could see everything, its face and its like weird webbed wings and like it's little fur and like it's eyes and it was just nuts and um and I was like wow that's crazy I was like I just got in the pool and I look up and I see this and if I had come here five minutes later five minutes earlier I don't know if I would have seen that you know so that's kind of synchronicity like being at the right place at the right time seeing little messages and no one can tell you what is or what isn't a message only you can really tell yourself and trust yourself there's like online resources where you can look up like certain animals that you see or the or like spirit animals or you can look up the angel numbers or whatever and you can get into that. There's a lot of people who like to sound off on those messages, but ultimately it's up to what the message means to you. Also pay attention to your dreams. Like I've been getting so many downloads in my dreams lately, like really crazy, like just things happening in my dreams. And I feel like it's been like a message as well to me about what's going on right now. And they're just reminding you to have compassion. This fell on top of the grief card, the mourning card. And so whatever this is you're trying to release right now, just have compassion and have compassion for yourself. Um, and you're just being healed right now. You're letting so many things go. This is what the purification card is talking about. They're saying a really amazing way to help yourself through this healing process and through this growth process is through finding inspiration and something to move forward. That's actually what this was. I remember when I first got to France, like we didn't have internet yet. We didn't really like, we were in this tiny small town and it, like all the lights like shut off at like 9 p.m. It was like a ghost town. It was quiet. All the shops were closed. I had like nothing to do. Um, my phone needed to charge. <laughs> no internet once again. Um, and so I decided to make this painting and um, it was just really quick. I didn't even finish it. Like I have this whole process I do where like I trace it and like I put glitter on it and it's like this whole thing. So I never finished it. it was, this is just like literally the first layer. 
But anyways, I did something. I made a painting and I did something to kind of keep myself inspired and moving forward. And um, I ended up cutting it up and making it, it into a deck for you guys. So anyways, sometimes it's just the littlest things we do that bring the best energy into our life and that help us heal. If you have an option, um, try to make some art, you know? And sometimes during Mercury retrograde, if your internet shuts out or if something happens or you get a block from technology, which happens sometimes, maybe it's a message you just need to sit down and get in your body and paint and make some art or something. Um, they're saying expect for you to connect with somebody in love because this may not resonate with everybody, but for a lot of you guys, big changes happening around your home. Um, and then it's like you're single or you're looking for love or you're trying to manifest love. So for a lot of you guys expect this to work out. Um, but yeah, final message is reach for the stars. You can accomplish anything during this energy. You don't have to see it as so draining. You can see it as something that's like peeling things away and making it you lighter so you can move forward. So just the final message for you guys, choose number two, is just choose the lighter path. Whatever feels lighter to you. Whatever feels just less dense, you know, whatever feels light, just follow that path. And I will see you guys later. If you're interested, head over to promiseharmony.com slash services to receive your own personal reading from me. So if you choose number three, the sea glass, let's get started. Just shuffling these cards back into the deck from my last reading and taking some deep breaths. So we're here to find out what message you need to know right now. So the first message that I'm grabbing here is there are so many positive changes coming into your life. So many positive changes. Something else that is really sticking out to me is that it's like you've been ignoring your passions. Your heart and your passion is trying to take you down a certain path. And it may be a path that you didn't expect. It may be something that you never saw coming. It could be something that you've known inside your whole life that you're good at, that you're talented at, or something that you wanted. Um, and it's like opportunities have been presenting themselves, but you're so stuck in the day-to-day -day routine and kind of bored and just kind of restless. And, and I do see you working, but like it's just been like a struggle. And so there's this message coming out that your passion, your heart is actually leading you to a way out. Cause you've been trying to manifest like something new in your career, just like a big step up. Um, I also see like wanting to like socialize more and make more friends. It's like, you're a little timid about this. Maybe you have a little bit of social anxiety, um, but there's a side of you that's like really wanting to open up more to this and connect with more like-minded people and have more of a sense of community. Um, and you're manifesting this currently. I see a community, I see a lot of people coming into your life, like really positive relationships, people you can trust, people who kind of respect you and give you your space, but like support you. Um, and so I see that. Um, I also see for you, there's been some, like once again, some resistance, like resisting a path, resisting an option, resisting something that has presented itself to you. So it's like telling you, go back and think about like, what are the, is there an opportunity I've missed out on? Is there a path that I've been wanting to take? Is there something that's revealed itself to me? Is there a passion in my heart for something? Is there like a desire I have? Because this is a message about your desire. That's what this card's talking about. It's saying your desires are there for a reason. The reason you desire certain things is because it's what's in alignment for you. It's part of your mission. It's part of your purpose. It all comes together. So they're saying this is part of your life for a reason, this desire you have. And by taking steps in alignment with it, the path is going to reveal itself to you. Doors will start opening. If doors are closing all around you, go back and think, is there... Is there really an open door somewhere that I haven't been paying attention to? 
And so that's what this is about, creating more stability, more foundation for yourself. Maybe you're gonna have to let go and take some risks a little bit, and so it's like you're a little worried to take risks in your life right now because you feel settled in your foundation. Um, but, and it's like you don't wanna get your heart broken again. You don't wanna um, enter into like another toxic situation for some of you guys when it comes to making the friends or switching the job. Um, but I feel like you're in a transition, just big changes happening right now. And there's also this message about just so many new people, celebration, it's like your soul family you're gonna be connecting with and also like your spirit guides and like your ancestors and stuff like that, like being happy for you because you made a good decision, you made a good choice. So overall, so much information coming in for those of you guys who chose number three. I feel like this is a very pivotal moment in your life. Um, overall, this is about some decisions you need to make. You've been a little insecure to make these decisions, um, putting them off because you've just been through so much and you're just like, ah, I just want to like not do this right now. But they're telling you it's time to follow your heart and a path is being cleared for you and doors are starting to shut all around you and they want you to pay attention to the door that's opening, the door of your passions. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can read this to you. Five of Vessels. Let's see. Okay, so this is saying that It's like a long paragraph, so I don't, I don't want to read you guys the whole thing. But this is basically just about it's time for you to surrender and join in the dance of the universe. It's time for you to surrender and join in the dance of the universe. Instead of just shutting yourself away from life and not being open to new connections. So I feel like big shift is coming in. Let's go ahead and pull you some final cards just to help uplift you and see if there's any final messages that you need to know. They're saying, oh wow. I, I did feel like for some of you guys, this had to do with something in love because we were talking about passion and it seems like this is clarifying for those of you guys out there. It's not may not be a message for everybody, but for some of you guys, there is going to be like a union with a twin flame or with a soulmate. And there's a big opportunity coming through for you with that. So let's pull cards for those of you guys that relate to this. Yeah, I mean soulmate. Look at this. Soulmate, twin flame. This is basically the twin flame card in this deck. It's twin flame, soulmate, pretty much same thing um, in this context. It's just about manif look, manifesting an opportunity to really follow your heart. So in the context of love, this spread could also be talking about transitioning into a new relationship. There's been some struggles, there's insecurities, maybe about coming forward um, or about connecting with your twin flame or your soulmate, um, or there's been some separation um, and there, here they're saying that there's going to be space for a new foundation and to be excited because a lot of the changes that are happening around you during this eclipse and everything is part of this and you guys are going to be getting to know each other um, on a new level. They're saying it's time for you to take your mask off and to allow yourself to be vulnerable with this person. And um, you guys have come a long way. It's a message about you guys really releasing and healing the past so you can manifest love in the present. And look, we've got this reconciliation card. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So um, for some of you guys in love, this is a message. So I hope that that resonates with you. If you would like a personal message, head over to promiseharmony.com services and thank you guys so much again for all of your continued support. I'm going to be having 
more content coming your way soon. I've just been very busy on all of y'all's personal readings. So I will see you guys again soon. And definitely let me know if you have any topic suggestions for my pick a card readings. Peace out.